It's nice weather today, so let's get going and get this done. All right. So we're just gonna start on ankles. This is about six exercises in this, but don't worry. You gotta got it. You got it. All right. So we're just gonna warm up our ankles. So if you got a, a small chair or anything like that, that'd be handy. If you don't, don't worry about it. You can just use the the ground. I'm just using this uh, little ball. So, because it's a little bit more in balance, so um, that challenged me a little bit more, okay? So, standing on one leg, all you're doing is dropping your heel towards the ground as far as you can, then driving up fast. So, dropping down really slow and driving up fast, okay? For five, four, up, three, up, two, and one. Ah. And same with the opposite side. So drive up. Whoop, turn to pull over. Two. Three. Four. Five. Same thing. Left leg again. Little bit of flexion in the knee. Okay, drive up. Slowly lowering down. Drive up really fast. Slowly lowering down. Drive up again. Whoop, whoop. Nice and slow. Drive up. Slowly lowering down. Drive up. For one more on this leg. Drive up. Good. Same thing. Right leg. Drive up. Slowly lowering down. Drive up. Slowly lowering down. Up again. Down. Up nice and fast, down nice and slow. One more time on this leg, drive up, slowly lowering down. One more time on your left leg, drive up, slow down, drive up, nice and slow down. Little flexion in the knee as I said, drive up, down, drive up, and down. Five more times on this leg and that's done, drive up. Slowly lower down. This is good before uh, a run session, especially in the morning. Um, it's nice to warm up your ankles. Back down, drive up. Whoop. Down one more time. Drive up. Nice and slowly down. Good. So that's that done. Get that out of the way. Ooh, hold on, I might need it. <laughs> All right, so our next exercise. So, yeah, uh, sitting up against the wall. So, Nice and flat, flat at the back. So have that gap closed off, okay? So that gap is now closed. Squatting down, your, your, your thighs are now parallel with the ground, okay? And then as well as that, your, shoulder, your feet are now shoulder width apart. So don't have them too wide or too narrow. Make right? shoulder width apart. If you've got something like a ball or something that's as wide as your knees now, just press. Uh, put that in between your knees. Then you're just holding on. That's basically it. So we're just going to hold on for say about 45 minutes. Then take a chill out, shake it off, then go again. Okay. So we're going to do three sets of this. Woo, I don't have my watch. I'm just going by my legs. <laughs> All right. So again, imagine engaging your uh, your show your your. Uh, your belly have that pla uh, plastered against the wall, have that nice and flat, and have the shoulder width apart with your knees, and just holding on with that ball or anything you got, just holding on, just makes it a little bit easier. Your legs are parallel with the ground. Hold on. Three, two, one, come up. You're gonna have to shake it off. So you don't feel it around the thighs, especially around the hips as well, I feel. And we go again. So we're going to do three sets of this. Squatting down. All right, let's go. Good. That's it. I'm all set up. Engage your belly. Make sure that gap is closed off. 
Nice one. So you might feel it after a while, a little bit of a shake going on in around your thighs. Or you should feel a bit of a shake going in around your thighs. <laughs> All right. Or if you had a hard, hard run or a hard spin, uh, the day or the day before that, you'll feel it for sure. Woo! Breathe in, breathe out. Woo! Three, two, one. Come up again. Oh, my legs. Shake it out. Just give it a moment just to chill out. Woo! Shake out those legs. Okay, one more of that. All right, so. Flatten the back out. Shoulder width apart with your, with your feet. Again, you see I've got it and sit down. And as you can see, I'm using shoes today. Okay. Um, for me, this is a, a little bit more um, support by using shoes in this position, or in this exercise, or in the ankle lifts. A little bit more support just by doing your ankle lifts. Hold on. Keep that back nice and flat. Engage your belly. Breathe in, breathe out. Whoo! I can feel that one. A little bit of a shake starting here now. Ooh, almost 10 seconds left. Five, three, two, one. Come again. Away from the wall. Nice one. Shake it out. All right, our next exercise. What am I talking about here now? Turn around with it. Okay, so, Jean, I can start in squats again. All right, so. With your, with your feet nice and wide, a little bit to the side, so don't have them straight forward, a little bit to the side, okay? Then you're just squatting down, oh gee my legs, okay? Squatting down, all right? So then again, you're, hopefully you're aimed to have your thighs uh, parallel with the ground, okay? Engaging your belly, flat back, reach up with your arms, both arms point to the roof. Relax your head and neck, it's not doing anything here. Deep breath in, breathing out. Reach up high with the right arm. Stay nice and low, but reach up high with the right arm. And reach over to the left side of that right arm. Take your left arm, right, uh, wrap it under. So that left arm is now trying to drag across that right side. And then the right arm is reaching over to the left side. Woo! Okay, good. Three, two, one, now your arms are parallel. You're staying nice and low. Good. So imagine that paper in between your feet, you're trying to rip it up. All right, that's good. Flat back, engage your belly. Then lift up your left arm really high, reach under with your right, and reach over that right side. Deep breath in, breathing out. That's good, guys, keep it up. Good, arms parallel again. Then we're just gonna do a little bit of a circle. So, in anti-clockwise or clockwise, don't really care. Just a nice big circle, stay nice and low. Good. Then change your direction, going forward or back, don't care. Again, pu pull in opposite directions. Three, two, one, come on up. Gee, Mac, my thighs. They are sore today. All right, so you shake it out. Just give them the chance to chill out. Woo! All right, we go again. All right, so nice wide feet. All right, so I'm just gonna do it from the side so you can see a little bit more. All right, so point your feet a little bit to the side and squatting down. So back nice and flat, engaging your belly. Reach up high, stay nice and low. So again, it does make it easier whenever you're squat, you're just ripping up paper in between your feet, imagine that. Deep 
Deep breath in, breathing out. Then with your right arm up, reach over the right side. Take your left arm, reach over underneath to the right side. Nice. Nice. Good. Then arms parallel. Then lift up with your left arm. Take your right arm, slap it under, and reach over the right side. Imagine, remember those feet. Imagine the paper just ripping it up. Breathe in, breathe out. Nice one. Then clap your hands together and press them away from your belly. Good, so you'll feel a big a stretch around the shoulders. Good, you're still staying in squat position. Nice. Crop your hands together, roll the shoulders back and down, press them more towards the ground. Roll the shoulders back, stay nice and low again. Three, two, one, come on up. Ooh. Take a shake it out. And one more. Genie Mac. All right. All right, squatting down. Ooh, hopefully I'll be able to hold on to this one. All right, so again, imagine legs slightly to the side. Squatting down, engage your belly and your back. All right, roll your shoulders back and down. So nice and tall with your head. Nice one. Arms parallel. Nice one. Then you're just gonna reach to the left hand side. Keep your belly in the same place. Just reach, 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 reach. So imagine you're trying to catch somebody. Catch. Yeah. All right, back to the middle. Then reach the right side. So it's really nice just to open up that, that left side here. You feel it? Then back to the middle. And reach, uh, re right, uh, reach to the left. Keep your bum down. Back to the middle. And reach to the right side. Stay nice and low. Remember the paper, you're just trying to rip that up in between your feet. Back to the middle, back to the left hand side. One more time. Relax head and neck. Stay nice and engaged. Back to the middle and reach to the right side. Reach, reach, reach. Three, two, one. Come on up. Good. Nice one, shake it out. You, All right, for our fourth session. Right, so just gonna be a plank. So very basic planks. We're just gonna do front plank and side planks, okay? So keep the hands nice and wide or on your fists, whichever you prefer. So full plank is gonna be in this position, engaging your belly. Nice. Your feet are about as wide as your hips. Okay. If you want modified, off you go. All right. So you just uh, onto your knees and put the uh, engage your belly in the same position. Okay. All right. We're going to go front side and then the opposite side. So we're going to get oh, about a minute of that all in all together. All right. So in three, two, one. Full plank. So about 30 seconds here. No, what am I talking about? 20 seconds. 20 seconds each position. Breathe in, breathe out, engage your belly. As I said, I don't have a watch, so I'm just assuming we're on time. So don't dip your butt belly down. If anything, just keep your bum up higher if you want, a little bit easier. Good. Then onto your left hand side or your right, doesn't really matter. And stack those legs. Reach up to the roof with the right arm. And again, engage that left hand side of your glutes or the lower part. Reach the roof. Stay in a nice straight line. Nice one. Then over to the opposite side. 
reach the roof. Nice one. And remember, have that bottom hip pushed up. Good. Engage. Reach the roof. Relax your head, neck. Don't worry, it's not doing anything. You don't have to lift forward or back. Just nice and level. In three, two, and one. Good. Come down onto your knees. Keep your bottom nice and high. Take a stretch here. Reaching forward with your hands. <sighs> nice. We're going to go again. All right. So on all fours. So this is a modification on this one. You're going to lift one leg, okay? Just watch if, you're, if, you, if you don't know what I'm talking about. So onto all fours again. Engaging your belly. And then just lift left leg up. Don't have to be high, just lift it up a little bit. And as well as that, don't tip. Okay, so as if you've got both legs on the ground. Uh, just keep the hips up. Change legs. Good. Three, two, one. Onto your left side. Reach up to the roof with the right arm. And then again, if you wish, lift the top leg a little bit. Engaging your belly. Three, two, one. And onto the opposite side. So onto my right arm, reaching up to the roof, and then lift that top leg up. Nice one. Just balance, engage, nice and easy. Breathe, that's also important. Hold, three, two, one. Nice one. Come back down onto your knees. Take your right hand, sliding under, palm facing up. Nice. Put your weight onto your right shoulder. Reach forward to the left. And put your weight onto your right side, or right hip. If you want, lift up that left arm, wrap it around, and open up the chest a little bit more. Nice deep breath in, breathing out. Nice. Let's go again, full plank. Right. In three, two, one, up you go. Now with this one, extend one, one arm ahead. So reach forward with your left. Hold on, keep the balance. Try not to reach up, just reach forward. Three, two, one. Then your right, right arm, reach forward. Three, two, one, back. Then onto your left, oh, sorry, left arm, reaching up to the roof. Lift up the right leg, then just bring that right knee in towards your glutes. Then kick out again. In and out. In and out. In and out. One more. In and out. Good. Same thing on the opposite side last time. Side plank. Woo! Okay. And then lift the top leg up. And again. In and out. Two. Three. Four, one more, five, nice. Again, come on down. <clears throat> Onto all fours, take your left arm, slide it under, slide the right arm forward, nice one. And take a good stretch around the back here now. 
Reach up with the right arm if you wish. Wrap it around your back. Open up the shoulders. Deep breath in, breathe out. Nice. Okay, where are we now? Oh yeah, okay. All right, so again, if you've got something like this, uh, or a ball, or let's say a, 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 a roller, something like that would be perfect, something about that width. We're gonna sit down. <coughs> Second last exercise. <coughs> All right, so I'm using that part of it as opposed to the width of it, okay? The narrow part. Okay, in between my knees. Shoulder width apart, engage your belly. All right, a nice and easy curl up by vertebrae by vertebrae. Curl up to the top, push your bum up really, really high and press against your hand, your, your, uh, your ball or your roller. Okay, press, 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 press those knees together. Nice and easy, then come on down again. Vertebrae, vertebrae, vertebrae. Nice. So you really feel that at the back of the thighs. And we go again. Engaging your belly, curling up. Nice and easy, vertebrae, vertebrae, vertebrae. Push your bum up really, really high. Press those knees together. Now, as I was saying, they shouldn't go too far in because it'll put stress in around the knees. If you don't have anything, just sit up with your bum. So something like this is perfect. And just engaging your belly. And nice and easy. Coming on down, engaging again. Good. Take a moment again. Chill it out. Let your belly uh, relax. And we go again. In three, two, one. Curl up. Pressing against each other. Relax the head and neck. Engaging it around your glutes here. Keep your hips nice and high. Nice deep breath in, breathing out, curling on back down again. We go one more. All right, so I'm not gonna use this at this time, but it's up to you. All right, so engage. Three, two, one, from curling up on the bottom. Last thing to come up is gonna be your upper back. Nice, and push your bum up, 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 as high as you can. Nice. Don't let the knees fall out. Engage. Breathe. And nice and easy. Come on back down again. Vertebrae, vertebrae, vertebrae. Last thing you're gonna hit the ground is gonna be your bum. Nice. Okay. Take a moment here. Make yourself really small, a little, little bit of upside down hitch hug. Nice. Then come on up. One more exercise. And this is the most physical of them all. All right, so. I'm gonna take the mat away because I slipped on this last time. All right, so we're gonna do some squat jumps. Just to finish off with something easy, a squat jump. All right. Um, we're gonna start in full plank. All right, so starting in full plank, 
then in three, two, one. Then I'm just pushing my bum, or pushing my elbows back, okay, into downward facing dog position as if, bending the back knees, then hopping towards my hands, back up, and then jumping, okay, squatting back down, hands onto the ground, and hop back into plank, okay, that makes sense, again, if you wish, you can start in modified um, on your knees. You'll need to support it with a, a bit of a, a rolled up mat or whichever. But imagine, imagine you're bending the elbows, you're pressing your shoulders back, then jumping up towards your hands, then jump up, down, squatting, and again. Okay, you get the idea? So, we're going to do five sets of that. And we're going to do them three times. All right, so starting full plank. Engage your belly. In three, two, one. Back, jump, up, down. Again, back, up, jump, down. For three. See you guys.